After 17 long months of waiting, this stack of Pokemon cards has finally returned from PSA. But if I'm honest guys, I've come over with a little bit of a bout of grading regret. Ain't hindsight. So here it is guys, the latest PSA returns. These actually come courtesy of Graded Gem. We submitted these in February 2021. So yeah, it's taken about 17 months to finally get these back. And I tell you what, when we submitted them, I was so excited because there are some stunning, like seriously stunning and very rare cards in this stack right here. But now I've got them back and what time's passed, I've actually got a little bit of regret, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm gonna explain more about that regret and maybe some pitfalls to avoid if you're grading cards yourself. I'll explain all that at the end. Firstly though, let's check out the grades. All right, first up we have the Nido King, the Crystal Nido King to be precise from Aquapolis. This is a stunning era for Pokemon cards and actually some of the rarest cards Pokemon have ever made because the popularity was really dying off. And this was like the last hurrah for Wizard of the Coast and Pokemon. These were the last sets they actually made together. Skyridge, Expedition and Aquapolis. Polish. So yeah, they are really good ones to uh, to get your hands on, to be honest. And they're ones that, you know, will be true vintage collectibles in the future for sure. But yeah, a seven on that, it's not too bad. I'll, I'll go more into the grades when it comes to some of the regrets later. Next up, we have another crystal, the Reverse Crobat in a seven again. Again, very cool card. Not as nice as the full hollow version of the crystals. I'm not going to lie, but still very cool. Next is the Blast Toys from Expedition. Beautiful card. A PSA 8, so slightly better. That's not too bad, if I'm honest, getting an 8. Very nice card. Beautiful. I love the pop and the designs on these. You get the stars in there as well. That's just really cool, but PSA 8 on that one. Then we have the Dragonite in a PSA 8 from Expedition. Very nice card. Really nice hollow. I just, I love these sets. I really do. I think they're fantastic. Absolutely awesome. Then we have what is actually my favorite card from this return. And that reminds me, let me know in the comments down below which one of these cards we got back was your favorite. I'm interested to see how much you go along with this Charizard. Or maybe there's a couple coming that I think some of you might very much like. So wait to see what they all are before you let me know in the comments. But, but do let me know. And once you've done that, make sure you hit subscribe here on the channel. Ring that alert bell and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. It'd be very much appreciated. Right, anyway, yeah, back to my favorite card, the Charizard. Look at the pack. Look at that, there's like a half little swirl going. The pop, everything about these, they are stunning cards. They really, really are, you know, like they're definitely cards that I, I say there's regret in grading them, but you know, these are classics. So in a sense, it's still good to get them encapsulated for sure. Then we have the Mewtwo in a PSA 8. This is gonna be popular. I think a lot of you will actually say this is one of your favorites because it's a seriously cool artwork, seriously. It is very cool. I like the artwork on this card a lot. Then we have, ah, oh, this one is brutal. It's a PSA 4 Umbreon, but what a card. This is like a grail of an Umbreon card. It's up there with the Gold Star as one of the ones to try and get your hands on for sure. But unfortunately, this one had quite a bit of damage to this bottom edge just here you can probably make it out and it, and realistically i i try to look and say how do we not really notice that when we submitted this and the last card and this one her because i really thought this would do a lot better but it's mad how when you look at a card once you've got it in slab you go i didn't notice that i didn't notice that oh my god yeah there's scratching in the hollow and stuff it's crazy how you miss some of this stuff sometimes before you send it off it's still a stunning card. It is, you know, it's the creme de la creme of Lugia cards, the first edition Neo, but a PSA 6. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty brutal. It's pretty brutal. Now, just before I get into talking about the regrets and some bits of advice and some pitfalls to watch out for for you guys, I do need to announce something regards to all this stuff right here that I'm going to be giving away here on the channel. On July 30th, I'll be streaming for 14 hours straight with live guests like Pokey Dean, Pokey Chloe, Dr. Applesauce as well as giving away over a thousand pounds in prizes with an Xbox Series X up for grab, Nintendo Switch Lite, a core of first edition boxes, and a ton of Pokemon goodies. And we are doing this all in aid of raising money for the incredible Rocking Horse Children's Charity. They supply life-saving equipment and support to children's hospitals across Sussex. And I know firsthand the incredible work they do as my youngest son, Logan, was actually born a couple of months premature and he spent time at the Trevor Man Baby Unit in Brighton in an incubator supplied by Rocking Horse. And right now, Rocking Horse are trying to raise money for that very same Trevor Man Baby Unit. So if you want to help this incredible cause, guys, make sure to head to the link in the description, the Just Giving link. And for every five pounds you donate, you will get one entry into winning those incredible prizes. So the more money you donate, the more chances to win, but the more good you will do. So come on guys, dig deep and get giving.
Where's the birthday boy? So we're going to get into the regrets now and it all boils down to how much value has been added by grading these cards because these aren't cards for my personal collection they're not ones that i'm keeping don't get me wrong i would love to keep these cards and i would have zero regrets in grading these if they were for my own personal collection but they're not they're actually part of a collection that i'm selling on my website evocards.co.uk i'll link it down below if you want to go and check it out but essentially they were graded to add value and to make more money and it's just not worked out like that. See, the thing is, when we originally submitted these cards, the FOMO for Pokemon, the prices were just absolutely through the roof. And they, it didn't matter really the condition or what the grade or anything that it got. The cards were just worth an absolute fortune. And they've just dropped massively since then. Essentially, if we'd sold these cards raw back at the end of 2020 or the beginning of 2021, we would have made about the same amount of money we're gonna make selling them graded right now. So in theory, pretty much wasted 17 months sending these cards off on top of that we've also received these cards back at like the worst possible time it is the summer holidays for a start and pretty much every collectible market during the summer holidays always dips prices of stuff go down because there's people are spending their money on other things they're going on holiday they're going out they're doing nice things so collecting gets pushed to the wayside but also we're currently going through an economic crisis right now cost of living has gone through the roof fuel prices have gone up meaning that people and rightfully so are more concerned about you know paying their bills putting food on the table putting a roof over their heads and stuff like that I I know for example right now myself i'm actually more concerned about that and i haven't been spending as much on pokemon because things are very expensive right now now on the flip side of all that though guys is that it's actually a really good time to be buying pokemon cards right now the prices are like seriously low and if you go onto ebay and you search by auctions ending soonest you're gonna see so many cards ending right now at some seriously cheap prices especially on auction yeah so a little tip for you guys out there looking to get some bargains on pokemon the final issue is the grades. Unfortunately, sixes, sevens, and eights just don't cut the mustard nowadays. People want nines and people want tens. Don't get me wrong, if we had these cards in nines and tens right now, we would be like, there would be zero regrets because the value would really have climbed. And also, if we'd got these cards back during the hype in these grades, there would have been really, really big money. There just isn't now, though. Those lower grade cards just don't add massive value. Just because a card slabbed, doesn't make it worth money nowadays. That's just the truth of the matter right now. People want nines and people want tens. So I do wish we'd looked a bit closer at the condition of some of these cards. Now, if any of you guys are finding yourself in a similar situation to us where the value of the cards isn't quite what you were hoping right now, my advice to you is just have some patience. You know, if you can, don't go putting your cards up for sale right this moment. Wait till the summer holidays come to an end. Wait till the economy starts to pick up slightly and you will be able to make a little bit more of your cards we are in a very very bad spot right now definitely don't be putting your cards up for auction on ebay that is for sure i would say though if you are desperate to sell your cards my advice would be to put stuff up on buy nows or do best offers and gauge your pricing off what the card sold for like maybe a couple of months back that would be the only way i would do it for example when we put our cards up for sale these ones on our website we'll be gauging our prices of what these cards are selling for like a couple of months back rather than what they're selling for right this moment because the market will start to pick up again towards the end of the year. But anyway, there's my thoughts and my take and my reasons for having a regret. I want to hear from you at this point though. What was the favorite card that we got back? But also what is your take on the current Pokemon market? What do you think is going to happen? Where do you see it going? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to take this conversation further, make sure to come and join my Discord. I'll link it in the description down below. Head for that Pokemon discussion channel. I'd be interested to see what you guys have got to say. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I very much hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and also hit that subscribe button and ring that alert bell so you do not miss that charity live stream giveaway. Come and support us on July 30th. Anyway, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.